Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to part 46 of uh, Persona 5 Royal. So, uh, I was thinking about this, and so Sojiro, let's hang out with uh, Chihaya. Because a couple episodes ago we went to Mementos to do the whole uh, chairman thing in the lobber. So let's see what we got out of that. And uh, leveling the fortune teller is just very good in general, so. Um, that being said though... Should I have my fortune read on anyone? What shall we do? I'm trying to think of people who. I guess Yoshida. I don't know how close I am with him. Here we go. Because of how quick you can make money in mementos, especially with the new Jose stuff, Jose, whatever. It's like you don't even have to worry about money. What do you think? Oh. Alrighty, let's hear the good news. Yes. <laughs> oh really? Wow. <laughs> Isn't that convenient? reason I'm the trickster. I still don't know I still don't remember why. Um <sighs> Yes they are. What? No 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 no. Oh god, oh god. Uh, hell yeah, I am. No. Um. <laughs> uh. So, um, pretty much. Oh, Celestial Reading, that's new. Um, yeah, so I guess that's the way you, if you want to go down the whole Chihaya route. All right. I actually don't remember if it's level 9 or level 8. But... Also, you're not that old, are you? How old are you? Oh. Goodbye. She's probably like, what, 20-something? I mean, I guess I am like 16, but... Why do people keep saying country bumpkin? Bye. A new day, another colossal failure. Oh, you seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! Deep. Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. True. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. 
That doesn't sound normal. Shit freaked me out. Uh, hey, you Futaba? Yep. Welcome. Why are you wearing that? It's the uh, newest fashion accessory. Have it. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh. Looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Oh, I just want to eat snacks all day. <laughs> I haven't snacked in so long. I want to be a kid again. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Yeah, Ryuji, you really gotta work on your bonkin' skills. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? What? <laughs> One second, I'm writing something down. <laughs> uh, that just reminded Oh, come on, write down. What the fuck? What's up, this thing? My whole, like, notepad's, like, fucked. What the hell's happened to my keyboard? Alright, whatever. Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. True. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? Yes. You know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Uh, is anyone gonna eat those chips? Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is. Uh, well, it's no one in this room. How about that? But if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. By the way, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? How about we have her try helping around the cafe? That's perfect! It'll be good practice to have her up in front of strangers. So, just one more time, why do I have to come to every single one of these? deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. <laughs> don't worry. I'd be mad if you weren't. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Wait, who's coming? Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. I better be able to do something. Ah, good. Wait, didn't didn't she just say that? <laughs> Where have you been? God, I hate that cap's name so much. Is there no way to change it? Hey! Sigh. Okay. Yeah, the beach cinematic is a a very good one. Very good indeed. Huh, Hifumi wants to hang out, eh? Well, let's see. I want to check the uh, thingy over here first. Going to shrivel up. Hey, why can't we do a test? I'm sorry. How rude. Um. What shall we do? Uh, that's a. Uh, how expensive are, the, are these? Okay then, no. Huh? What shall we do? 
Um, let's level up you. Because I'm not sure if you're high enough level. Here we go. All right, nice. What do you think? Now, I guess we'll go hang out with uh, Haifumi. Sure, why not? Because apparently Kawakami is just a wall or something. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, who's this asshole? Oh. Oh God. Huh? Sometimes I hate my gender. Okay, bro. Now uh, go away. Good evening. Um. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's something. Two points. Ifumi is a tough one to read. Sorry. She's really good though for battle tactics. Actually. Very handy indeed. Thanks for a follow-up by a backup member of Joker Downs and Enemy. Yeah, like stuff like that, like over time. All right. That just adds up, you know. I look forward to it. Also get a little bit of knowledge. Until next time. I must be getting close to level five knowledge. So bad. Yeah, that definitely wasn't enough to level her up. That's okay though, because that's what the fortune teller's for. Taba help out around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? She's gonna be fine. This isn't the same as taking care of a cat, you know. D don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well, in that case... Uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? Nani? Hey, are you alright? The usual boss, extra strong. Pompous customer. Okay, I gotta put my pompous voice on. <clears throat> the usual boss, extra strong. 
Sure thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. Wee oui, wee! Oui. <laughs> oh ho ho, wee oui, wee. Oui. She a new part timer. Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? Wait, what? Oh, fuck you, pompous customer one. It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Ah, yes, of course. Hmm, hmm, yes, indubitably. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. Oh no, she's wearing the mask, isn't she? Yo, here's your coffee. When in the world did she... Hey, Futaba, haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. <laughs> Imagine walking up to a customer. Yo, here you go, buddy. Oh, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right. Yes, you did. Huh. Turns out this is pretty easy. <laughs> to think Futaba would go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. Sojiro, want me to bring coffee to more customers? Mask off first. Oh, I'll think about it. Hey, what? It went wonderful. Where have you been? Searching all along. We're on a roll. You're facing twilight alone. Poor Shadow. <sighs> Without a sign. Without grasping me. Another evening to do what I want. Man. Oh. Oh yeah, it is, uh... Uh, Yoshida, Sojiro... Oh, a lot of people want to hang out, huh? Eh, uh, let's just get- let's just keep doing the fortune teller. We're so close to getting her to 10. So close. It's way too hot. I'm going to shrivel up. Like I said, I still don't remember what um, yes. what this fortune level 10 does, but it's gonna be good, right? The thing is... It's just... Oh my god, is that my 100,000 yen back? Oh my god, thank you. Nice. What? Oh, who are these guys? Dumb are these adults? Damn right I did. <sighs> you have a punchable face, sir. Oh. 
Oh, crazy people everywhere, man. That accent's coming out now. Whether you're gonna be miserable, knots all on your own damn shoulders. <laughs> oh, I forgot she was like this. Oh, um. Just like my old papa said, you gotta stick to your guns. Are there actually like yokel accents in uh, or country accents? Sorry, country accents in um, Japan. I wonder. I wonder what those sound like. I'm here with you, maiden. Probably butchering that name, by the way. All right, level nine. We are so close to level ten. Right. Juicy, juicy level ten. Nosy. Um. Uh oh. Oh no no no. All right, I gotta brace myself. Why do you have to say it like that? Um. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's just—it's just not right. Okay. Ooh. I mean, like I said, I'm not even like interested in this romance, but it still sucks so bad to say that. I don't know. I just feel bad. Where the fuck are you, Kasumi? I need some love already. I can't keep denying people. Well then. All right, so it's, so it's level nine you get to decide. And I know it's like, oh, why are you not going down the harem route? It's because I'm not a degenerate, that's why. Is that so, Ryuji? Ah, someone who likes taking notes. I can appreciate that. Noted. Hmm. Hmm. 
You know, now that Mona isn't like being super annoying with the sleeping thing, she's a or it's whatever. Mona is a more likable character. Today's the fourth day already. We getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. No! Stop it! You're gonna blow my cheeks off! Someone likes Kitty. Man, those girls are late. Who do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello. Please excuse us. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Oh, is that so? Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course, for Futaba-chan. Swimsuit? A uh, swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right now, then. No, 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 now? In front of everybody. <laughs> you can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but, um, uh... You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? Uh, uh the Makoto's got a very interesting demeanor there. Oh, wow, it's perfect. I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy on. I know, right? There we go. It's on. What the? This barely covers anything! That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Yeah! Push! Huh? Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. <laughs> there. Good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed! I wonder what they're doing up there. Well, why aren't we talking about anything? This is a little weird. They're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Futaba in his swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. Congratulations, Yusuke. You're now on a list. Yeah, go for it, Ryuji. Me? I humbly request you do so as well. Hell no! You guys are such children. What's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're picking out a swimsuit for you, Sojiro. Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Well then, it seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All flattery aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. Huh? Oh, posture. Right. She might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. I can do this. I can do this. Yes, I totally don't know who they are. Ah, the swimsuit episode. I mean, the uh, beach episode. Nice. Alright, let's see. Who is on the list to hang out? Oh, yeah. Uh, not Kawakami. Literally just oh, yeah. Okay, then. I mean, I guess we might as well. Uh huh. Yes, it is. Wait, what's the what's Oya's persona again? Eh, fuck it. I'm too lazy. 
If anything, we'll just use the fortune telling technique. Oh, honey. Ugh, I'm drenched. Yeah, I don't have the persona, but it's fine. Hey! Not the end of the world. This is kind of a chill place. <laughs> uh, how can you even say that? Like, we've done like four palaces now, thank you. Dun, dun, dun. Mm, seems touchy. Oh, I thought it was Lola Chan. Oops. Oh. Yeah, I like the atmosphere. Yeah, Oya oh yeah, has the worst coffee going in the game. It is just complete dog shit. All right. <laughs> like, it is bad. It's just bad. I said. <laughs> like, how can a bar be out of booze? So what should we do today? I thought we were going to the beach. Let's see. Want to eat together? You know, like how we had hot pot that one time. That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra-squad friendships. I don't think that's a word. I, I can do that. Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelet with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. What a strange combination. I'd like the same. No, but this is for Futaba's sake. <sighs> Fine. You owe me, got it? I want the same. Extra large. Uh, I ate loads. Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed. Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. Oh, you're into those types of girls, huh? All right, I got you, Yusuke. You better not be hitting on me. How rude. Sojiro, help me! Will you stop that? So does this mean our training's going good? Yes. Let's go with that then. Hey, let me make you guys some after meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want iced cocoa. You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? Yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. Oh, uh, what's that, the kitty drink? <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a lunch this lively. Mm -hmm. It's lots of fun. Damn it, when are we going to the beach? Oh, 
Oh, it's also raining. Like we know when we'll actually finish up now. The beach is finally within reach. Uh huh. Nice rhyme. It's also raining, so that means no fortune teller. Okay. All right, we got E Y and Haifumi. Okay, I need to level up Haifumi. Remember that. Um. What is a uh, UI? Hanged, right? Yes, he's the hanged guy. Whatever, I'm too lazy to... I know, I, I sound so lazy. It's because I am. I just can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to go find a hanged persona right now. Mm, actually, I will, cause, just because it's right here. Do, 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 do. All right, what do we got here? Justine, you read here. All right, so we need a devil. Might as well get the devil on in here. This a fee is required. This is your power. This you can hold no more persona. Oh come on. Maybe I should make a new persona. The inmate needs. Let's execute. What path do you want? I'm level 35, so uh, none of these are really worth it. Well, I could make a devil. Could make a devil persona. I'd give up my emperor though and hanged. That's not worth it. Okay, let's just strengthen a random persona, I guess. Power requires sacrifice. Let's get rid of, uh, who are we not using anymore? I'm kind of using all of these. Oh, I'm not using Fortune 1. What are you waiting for? This is the p- <laughs> This may be a bit gruesome. A bit gruesome. Sorry, Fortune. We're almost max level with, uh, Fortune Teller, so it's fine. Brainwash? I didn't even know I had to brainwash, I don't. Oh, I see. You know what? Let's try that. Oh. Restores 5% max HP. Um, okay, let's get rid of that one. And no point having that. Okay, now we can get it. Finished for now? Are you finished? No, well, no, 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 no. Justine, these are the paths you have walked. A fee is this is your path. You left done already. What? Alrighty. It is time, inmate. So I'm trying to think of all the coffee notes I have left. Uh, let's look at the ones you guys know, because I don't want to spoil anything. So we've got EY. Uh, no good, Yoshi. What's that dude standing up there for? Oh, he's in a building. Oh, we got no good. We got uh, Oya. We got fortune tellers almost done. We got Yusuke, Makoto, um, Soji Roko. Okay, we have a lot. Never mind. I don't know why I thought there was not that many left. It's pouring out. Alright, let's go. <laughs> yeah. 
So why is that motorbike in the corner? Is that literally how expensive parking spots are? We gotta have them in restaurants now? Don't say stupid shit. actually has kind of a cool coffee nut story. <laughs> How's your cold? <laughs> sure thing, boss. All right. Alrighty, I also should customize my gun. Because, uh, it's kind of sucks. Later. Yeah, so some confidants also help you with social stats. I think for EY's proficiency, oh yeah, it's charm. So Jiro, it's kindness. Okay. Um, I don't remember who Guts is. One more day to the beach. Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice, 100% natural. That reminds me, you're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun and make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. Fireworks, huh? Hello. A catchy. Oh, welcome. Oh, you're... Oh, wow, this is so co coincidental. Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm a catchy. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai San recommended it so strongly to me. Oh. I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's. Uh, what'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. Yeah, now you gotta work on those social skills. <laughs> Just say nothing. Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. Okay, kind of dropping this on us, aren't you? She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. 
But I do quite well by myself these days. Mm. Ah, yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're... Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. Hmm. What's the matter? I don't like you. You are popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. Hmm, is that so? <laughs> Thank you. Damn it. I thought I could get some confidant points out of them. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought provoking. Well, I think I found my go to cafe. Of course you did. Oh, catchy. Some. Yeah, did you go with Mona? I went by myself. I just ran into Mona on the way back. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. What? He's still around here? Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put on my cigarette yet. <laughs> Come on! Don't get the smoke on me! Mmm, yummy. Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! <laughs> right. It's just be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! No! no! <laughs> Damn, Mona, you're ripping a fat one. Gotta lay off, kitty. Mm. Hey, where were the fireworks? Those were fireworks? Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo, let alone watching over someone else. Yeah, I'm sure Still, we'll be fine. Going to enjoy the beach. We can finally have a good time. Yes, we can. Ah. Damn it. Alright. Please tell me we can get her to level 10 after this reading. Oh. What shall we do? Come on. It'd be awesome if we could get this one wrapped up. Here we go. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? That's not what enough. <laughs> Why do you do this to me, fortune teller? Oh, Ewai and Yoshida are going to hang out, though. You know, I was gonna go to the 
airsoft shop anyway. I need a new gun. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Alright, let's look at the customization thing. Alright, which one? Ah, oh, long oh, barrel. Put some accuracy mods on a handgun. It's easier to go right for the vitals. I knew a guy who could line up a kill shot in 0.2 seconds flat. Um, that's nice. That sounds kind of creepy. All right, sounds good. All right, this gun's way better. Some enthusiasts like heavy, huh? You better not use it to pull a prank. And let's customize it while we're at it. It's really hot outside. Makes me want to blast a big boar. What's a big boar? Must be a gun. That's what you're choosing? Good. Professional modification. Why, well, thank you. All right, which one? Everybody's gonna get some new guns. Oh. A shotgun, huh? That's what those old country dudes use in foreign films. Sounds good. Um... The slingshot sold here can be- Alright, which one? Wow, Anne has a terrible gun. Rifles are chipped, huh? How's that? Let's make that... a little more powerful. It's really hmm, that sure thing. Sounds good. Alright, Yusuke, you need a new That's gun. your chips don't break it, okay? Yeah, I think it's just better... Actually, this, this, gun, this gun's not very accurate, so let's put the, uh... Long barrel on it. All right, which one? Hmm? Do I get? And for this, we will do damage. That's what you're sure thing. Can you do multiple customizations. Okay, sounds good. Oh, you can't. Rifles are generally used for shooting games at summer festivals. The pistols are a better choice for that distance. I see. That's not a good enough upgrade for me. Not much um, impact, but it's accurate. And there's the rapid fire. All right, which one? All right, EY, stop talking. You're talking a lot. It's really hot out. Mm, that one. That's what you're choosing. All right, let me see if I can have two. Mm, that one. You change your mind. Oh my god, I can't. Rifles are generally used for shooting games at summer festivals. The pistols are a better choice for that distance. Okay, whatever. Alright. Uh, let's sell our junk now. It's really hot outside. Makes yeah, me I know it is. A big boar. Oh, these are brainwash gloves from that one guy. Uh, come again. Alright, man, we'll hang out. <laughs> Bring the goods. Hey. Oh, I know how that feels, man. Yakuza. <laughs> you know, I think mafias and stuff, I think it's like, it's like a short term solution if it's run by, like, an okay guy. I don't know how to explain that, really. <laughs> huh? You should be grateful. Alright, level up. Oh, that's cool. 
Camo customization. Right. Lovely. What's the meaning of this? No, oh, that's that's not a customer. Yeah. Exactly. <sighs> Always take more for efficiency. It takes so Later. long to level up though. Futaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. Uh, don't worry. Good. As long as you understand. I'll be counting on you. Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be alright? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. Uh, nothing like a day at the beach. Ah, so wholesome. Oh, it's so hot. I kind of wish I did more cutscenes because the cutscenes are actually really good. There's a lot of people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. Yeah, what the hell are you wearing, Yusuke? You're like Assassin's Creed. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch too? I'll go get some stuff for us then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? That's the only problem with the beach. <laughs> so packed. What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. Ooh, I love the banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Banana boat's fun. Wait, then what about us? 
Keep an eye on our stuff. <laughs> Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality, strange, isn't it? Wait, uh, excuse me, what did you say? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But, Lady On. Oh no, kitty cat. Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. Banana, banana. Uh, the sand's way not. What? It's what? dangerous if you run around like that. Here comes Damn it. I don't get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality too? Yeah, man, we should be chilling. Right? Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. Yeah, this is gonna be an extra long episode. I think this is actually like a really long portion. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Uh, step one, be a human. Well, you gotta steal, you know what? <laughs> you moron, that's a crime! What we're gonna steal in reality are... Girls' hearts! I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Also, this is not realistic, because all that food on the floor would be getting eaten by seagulls right now. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well, let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. I still don't know Wait, what use case. Get back here! Don't leave me behind! I still don't know why Yusuke is cosplaying as Ezio, but... I mean, who goes out to people on the beach like that? Hey, I know you're alone here by yourself, but us three guys really want a piece of you. Like, come on. <laughs> Zero fucking charm. <sighs> I don't know. The ocean just looks kind of bland to me. Don't say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going at it as a team, right? Yeah, that's uh, the first problem. Hmm. Did someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG, it's the golden boy himself! Oh no. Have fun with that, Ryuchi. <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? You? Oh no. Oh yes, look at those hairy legs and that hairy chest. Mmm. What are you guys doing here? Sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Yes, Ryuji. Like, how could you even think that? You have to put that on right now. Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. Just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Are you ready to get away from these pedophiles? 
Uh, we gotta go. Sorry. Was it something I said? No. Oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. No. No more makeovers. By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Oh, what do you got there? Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. Ah, uh, lo love at... Damn it, I was gonna make a joke. I haven't had it my fell very apart. core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time on entered my gaze. Love stir at first sights. No, 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 forget it. Good for you. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. But bro, are you hanging out with Trump in this tanny bed? What's up? What's going on with you? How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so we were serious about being here with friends. That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? It's far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Ooh. Hey. Let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. Damn right you will. <sighs> what creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. To be honest, I was nearly at my wit's end. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand! I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. Yes, indeed. How dare you with your vile postulations. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. How can you even say that? What did we do that was remotely fun? Creep on women, get harassed by men. Wait, 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 what's all this? Oh. We should probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You know, all this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. That's why I'd sleep again. I'd be a repeat of that. Kind of ending the day on a sad note. Uh, I loved my mom. I how she'd work late. Oh my god, I'm so night. sorry. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. Let's see what she said. I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? Smart cookie. It made no sense back then. 
But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. The bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba went from complete shut-in to won't shut up. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You were our only hope. Obi-Wan Futab... No. Nope. The Doesn't other work. The was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad. And it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves... I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. Oh, you're joining. You're way too good. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Oh, honestly, I forgot about that. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned. Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure, but right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I swear, Futaba's voice gets deeper randomly when she talks. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba... If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. And eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's codename? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, 
Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case, Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? That sounds lame. Mech? No. PC? Overlord, maybe? I don't know. Oh, Overwatch. No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's code name? I actually don't remember what it is. Arrow. Internet. Uh, sure. Too simple. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle, with my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Yeah, that's what it is. Sounds great. Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored phantom thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. Should we get going then? Vamanos. Yep, let's go home. <laughs> oh, come on. Yes. The incident with Medjet seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash, whether they're connected to us or not. Hmm. Hey. I wonder who this person could be. Hmm. how much time there is in between our next palace, but I know there's a little bit. Yes, yeah, so let's just disregard what I said completely. That's what good people do. things to say. What else should I be? Please don't take off my mind. Ah, new mementos quest. Hmm. So if we do that mementos quest, then uh, the movie theater will open up in Yongen. Alright, definitely cutting the episode here. This one went super long, but I didn't want to just stop it in the middle of the beach episode, and I completely forgot how long it actually was. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.